Hello and welcome to the WP Inventory Manager tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be covering the Reserve Cart add-on. Once we have the zip file downloaded from the WP Inventory Manager website, we want to navigate to Plugins in our own website. Click Add New at the top. Upload Plugin. And simply drag and drop the zip file into the box here. And click Install Now and activate plugin. Once the plugin is activated, we'll navigate to the WP Inventory status page over on the left. Generally, you'll be prompted to enter your license key, which can also be found in the settings section of WP Inventory, where you can enter your license key for any add-ons you purchase. Once your reserve cart add-on is authenticated, you can find the settings for it under the reserve tab in settings and then click Reservation Cart. This is also where we set the checkout URL for where our cart will display on our website. And we can also change the settings for an Add to Cart button in the inventory listing and to show the total price in the cart. When you make changes, be sure to click Save Settings. This is also where we see the short code that we enter on the page to display the cart. So let's copy and paste that. With that copy and pasted, navigate to Pages and create a page for your cart to display. Be sure to give the same URL slug that it says in the settings and simply paste the short code into the page. But before we view the page, we have to be sure to set the display settings for our cart. Just like all of our other settings, the information that we put in Show and Cart is all display on the cart page. Once we've set all of our display settings, be sure to hit Save Settings. Now if we navigate to the page where we typed in the shortcode, we'll see our reservation cart. Right now there are no items in the cart, but if we navigate to our inventory and choose an item to add, You'll see that the reservation form has been replaced by a simple quantity field and an add to cart button. We'll also add in a few cabbage. Now if we return to our cart, We'll see all the information we set in the display settings, as well as the total cost to reserve. Below the cart, you'll find the form that used to be on the product inventory pages that now prompts the users to enter all of their relevant information to reserve the items. Once a user reserves some items through the reserve cart, you'll find updated totals in your product database. Thank you for watching this WP Inventory Manager tutorial video. As usual, please feel free to reach out to us with any questions on the support tab and the WP Inventory Manager plugin. Thank you.